This is an update to the LS460 rear fog light installation. I have conceded defeat and I have switched to a remote fob that turns them on and off. Reason being, it only took about five minutes to, I just tapped into the tail lights for power and uh, you know rewired the fogs. So you don't have to run a new wire to the front, you don't have to tap into the front fog lights. And then also, um, I don't even have a spare switch blank anyways, so I, I don't even have a spot for a switch that could go where it could go. So the reason um, I did it this way is because after further testing, the right hand drive fuse box created some issues with that's really dark created some issues with um the hold on driver's side um window switch and mirrors so because it's a right hand drive fuse box when you hit the driver's side down for some reason it's it's just manual up and down and then actually when you hit the passenger side, it still rolls down the driver's side, but you have the auto feature here. Um, the other issue was somebody had, a, another person um, did the same swap and he had problems with the mirrors clicking when shutting. Um, the, when you lock the doors, it doesn't beep for that fuse box because they didn't have that in Europe, I guess. And then obviously the temperature is in Celsius. So I think it is still possible if you somehow find a left-hand drive European fuse box. They did they do exist. And that should resolve the issues with the switches because it's actually the correct driver's side. You'll still have temperature in Celsius, but then you should have the fog light activation. And I also tried to hook up the European right-hand drive fuse box in parallel as a slave fuse box with the US spec fuse box. And the car didn't like that either. A lot of the um, interior lights were flickering, the cluster was flickering, warning lights were flickering. So even just having the minimal amount of wires, just tapping into the can lines for the fog light switch it still caused issues so i accepted defeat i spent 18 dollars on this wireless relay on amazon and i should have done this from the start but now we know everybody knows um, the difficulty in doing this also one more thing this housing does not have stop uh, like a high um, intensity stop beam here it's just tail lights so when your brakes hit this is just gonna light up here this is gonna stay the same because it's just there's no circuitry in there for it so that's it um, there is more information on Club Lexus there's a couple threads on the situation but I think bottom line is you would have to find a left-hand drive European fuse box which would have the rear fog enabled and the problem with that is they just don't exist in the used market. So you'd have to buy a new one for like 800 bucks if you got the right part number and somehow found a dealer in Japan or Europe or something to get it for you. Um, but I, there's just no point in me even doing that to even try it because I'd still be stuck with the Celsius temperature displays anyways. So that is it. That is where the story ends. Hopefully uh helped some people and prevented some people from wasting a lot of time on this. And sometimes the simplest solutions are the best.